second snap. Oh, he's open. There he is. Pass one across the middle. Yep. Pass is caught. And there's a big swing by Huey. Blaine, stop that ball from coming over I here. I didn't see it coming back by. Side like Coach Brookshire says. But Bernie with the rebound. A steal. And a steal. Oh, he gets it in. Yeah. He's running the last lay, uh, leg. That could be gold. And a gold. And a gold. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> in the third. The shortstop fielded by Herber, who fires it over to first base for out number three. Oh, she got a hold of that one. Maybe gone by. It's gone. There you go. Wow. What a hit. I didn't take her long. No. Juan Galarza. Welcome to another Billy's Live production. Find us on your favorite social sites and apps. Like, subscribe, and get notified when we go live. Well, hello, friends. You uh, are watching some Billy's Live 2 action. Channel 2 tonight is where the softball game is. The boys are on Billy's Live. They're playing Canyon Lake at home. Peter and Blaine will have the call over there. My name is Paige Finley. I have the privilege of getting to hang out with Nate Thompson tonight, who's running the camera. And uh, you can hear they're doing the announcements here in Canyon, uh, excuse me, in uh, Bandera. Uh, the Billy's will be first, and then the Bulldogs. Dogs, and while they do that, we're going to turn it over to ads right quick so we're not talking over each other and everybody at home can understand what we're saying. So we'll be right back. When it comes to managing your financial investments, any idea how much of your money it takes just to cover your investors' fees? My name is Eddie Kramer, certified financial planner professional from the Batlam Billy class of 2000. At SSBNT Wealth Management, all our advisors are on salary, so we never receive commissions, loads, or kickbacks from your investments. So guess who keeps more of your money? You do. Your plan, your goals, your purpose. Give us a call today, 990-7750. Let's go. Hello friends, this is Shane Fronson from The Inside Story. We'd like to thank you, our Ferksburg community, for trusting us with all your home decorating needs. Whether wood or tile floors, window treatments or wallpaper, vinyl plank or paint, for 43 years now, you've made us the number one rated store in the area. And we couldn't be prouder to back our Billies right here on Billies.life. Thank you, Fredericksburg, for choosing The Inside Story. Drop by today and let us help make your house a home. Air and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. Ooh, man, you're playing like a new player since your hip surgery. I'm telling you, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine has changed my life. I lived with the pain of that old football injury for years. Never thought I'd walk right again. They did this minimally invasive procedure thing. Really sped up my recovery faster than I ever imagined. Man, I've been struggling with this old tennis elbow for years. I wonder if they could help me out. Absolutely. They work wonders. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, getting you back in the game of life. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. Segner's has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. 
located at 236 West Main Street, or find us on the web at SegnersJewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies! At the Real Estate Advisory Team, we know the Texas Hill Country, and we know Texas Hill Country Real Estate. With the Real Estate Advisory Team, you'll have a team of experienced local professionals who value honesty and integrity and work tirelessly to help you achieve your real estate goals. Give us a call or stop by today. We would be honored to help turn your Texas Hill Country dream into a reality. Go Billies! My name is David Smith, Fredericksburg FBO. This business has done now five large metal buildings through Donnie Ray. He is honest, enormously competent in the matter of metal buildings. He's been doing metal buildings for 35 years. Service is excellent, the work is reliable, and they're fast. Now, these are the qualities that will come through and deliver value. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. So I was looking for a new cattle trailer. Stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business. I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was going to buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. It's a high fly ball back deep at the wall. It's a uh, nope, short and caught for out number three. No one wants to come up short, especially with your retirement plan. Have you practiced the soft toss enough to smash the home runs? If you don't have all your bases covered with retirement, college savings, life insurance, and long-term care, call Joseph Financial Partners. We'll go around the horn and get your team ready for the big game. Call 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities are offered through LPL Financial Member for this event. We've had grants on our campus such as a robotics club. We've had grants that had to do with technology and new things that we could offer the students. Grants for our garden club, which I'm really excited about to get our billies outside and thinking about farming and thinking about parts of a plan. And so a lot of our grants, what I'm noticing is there are things that really enhance what we're already teaching, but through a little bit of a different manner. All of that's due to the gracious donations from our community and every Everyone else that really supports our education foundation and it seems like it's really growing each and every year which is just going to allow more opportunities for our kids as we move forward in the future. Visit FISDkids.org to learn more. It's grilling time at Hill Country Propane Inc and we've got the latest models of stainless steel grills made in America. Our showroom is full of grills by Wilmington, AOG, Fire Magic and Phoenix. We offer Primo Ceramic Grills and Pellet Grills by Smokin' Brothers. Summertime is the time to celebrate grilling for family and friends. Come on in today and let our experienced team demonstrate features of the grill you deserve. Hill Country Propane Inc. Go Propane. Okay, we're... All right, well, welcome everyone. All right, Nate, if you'll put Maddie right, the hitter, on the right side. Yeah, zoom in on her, and then what I'll do is I'll bring up the... Uh, rosters real quick and since the Phillies are visitors they'll be first tonight so there it is your starting lineup for the Batland Billies we're missing Ava Stewie tonight I don't think she's here I think she's tracking so anyway uh, Madison Wright will be leading off catching Riley McGuffey is your designated player Robbie Griffin is flexing with uh, Riley Ro Robbie will be in right field number five Laren Foyke is at first base number 44 Brindle Wolf will be the pitcher tonight for the Billies Number 11, Bella Finley, the shortstop, hitting the five hole. And in the sixth spot is number two, the lefty, Addison Chesso, center fielder. Number 20, Sidney Myers is going to be at third base tonight. Welcome back to third, Sid. Number 22, Marty Silva, second base, senior, Marty Silva. Number three, another senior, Brooklyn Groby, will be out in left field. That's going to wrap the lineup up, the starting lineup up for the Batman Billies. Major Hunger. 
All right, well, again, uh, welcome to the big city of Bandera, Texas. And a uh, special word of appreciation goes out to Christy Wright for keeping our score for us tonight. And yeah, for those of you uh, with, you know, maybe at the boys' baseball game and watching this one online, or maybe you've got a couple of smart devices going, you can center up now, Nate. Um, all right. Uh, just a reminder, the boys are playing over on Billy's Live, and so you can watch that game and then switch back and forth to this one on Billy's Live 2 for the girls. Maddie Wright looks at a ball inside for pitch number one of the night. Still ironing some things out with the fellas back in Fredericksburg over Tech. So I may pause on you here from time to time just to make sure they're rolling back home as well. Pitching tonight for Bandera is Kaylin Ortiz. Making up her battery partner, Hannah Wells, number six behind the dish. Maddie swings at uh, one on the outside there. Count runs to one and two. <clears throat> Park's in great shape tonight. Looks good. I think that's a relatively new scoreboard out there in right field. Bright LED numbers. That's ball two outside. As I mentioned before, Maddie behind the dish. Brenda Wolf is pitching to her tonight. Pitch on the way. Ooh, Maddie absolutely murders one down the left field line. Got an inside pitch and she went to she went to dinner. Coach wisely swapping face masks with his third baseman. Definitely not a team you don't want a well-fitting third base mat. Third baseman to have a mask that doesn't fit well. We'd like to pull. Number 10 waits on deck. That's Riley McGuffey, your DP tonight. For the Bellis. 2-2. 19 at the plate has uh, 10, I think, home runs on the season. She looks at one down in the dirt there. I think it's 10, it may be 11. It's gonna run the count full. Once again, just a shout out to Blaine Hahn and Peter Shondua calling the ball tonight for the Binnies. That's gonna be home run, home run number 11 for Maddie Wright. She uh, jumped on that and went Oppo Taco Tuesday, even though it's Thursday. What's that, bud? Oh, yeah, it's probably set on uh, second base. You, I would leave it on uh, manual, Nate. I wouldn't move it to auto. But you can, uh, when we're between innings, what we'll do is we'll push into second base and have you set it there if it's not already. Um, yeah, otherwise it'll want to focus on that netting and that drives everybody crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so again, Nate Thompson here with me in Bandera. Sergio, Connor, Sarah. Richie, uh, senior at FHS, taking care of things in back in Fredericksburg for the boys. So one batter, one bomb, one run for the battling Billings. Number 10 at the dish now, that's Riley McGuffey, sophomore. Swinging a miss. As I mentioned, Hannah Wells behind the dish and that is Kaylin Ortiz out there in the circle. Over at first base is Sarissa Fernandez. At second base, Bailey Ward. Third base, Tatum. Look out, Marsh. Ooh, wow, that almost got her. Uh, Tatum Miller, and at shortstop is Presley Greenlee. In left field is Riley Smith. Gabby Barrera is in right field. And in center field is Kinley Lawless. Boys game looks like it's tuned in, warmed up, and they're ready to go. We started a little early here. Another base knock out there to left with Riley Smith, uh, excuse me, Riley McGuffey speed. She's in there safely for a dub. Good hustle, kid. Batting third for the Billy. First baseman, number five, Laren Poison. All right, double for Miss McGuffey to left. That's going to bring, bring up Laren Foyi, number five. The tall drink of water over there at first base for the Billies. She waits on one, pops it to right. That ball's deep, but playable. McGuffey tags up on the sack fly and 
is going to score on the overthrow into the pitcher. So just like that, a sack F9, and then followed by E9, R, uh, excuse me, and I believe it was, it may have been a sh I didn't see who, well, let, let's go with the right fielder. I believe the right fielder through to the second baseman. I think it was the second baseman over through the pitcher, so that'll be E4 on the throw. Getting the ball back in allows McGuppy to score. So. Brenda Wolf at the plate now for the Billies. She looks at a ball down. Number 44 is Brenda Wolf. She's a freshman. And she'll be in the circle for the Billies tonight. It'd be good to see Brindle back in the circle. It's been a minute. Bella Finley waits on deck. She'll be a shortstop tonight, hitting the five spot. And right behind her is Addison Chesso waiting in the hole. Addie, senior, center fielder. Bella, sophomore, shortstop. Softy up the middle. Brindle, oh, not able to get the first before the out is made. So the Billies at home against Canyon Lake are underway. The first pitch just Number comes 11, in there. And, Bella uh, Finley. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to run behind. There's a runner at first already. All right, so here's number 11 here in Bandera. That's Bella Finley. She looks at one outside for ball one. JV girls did a good job in the first game. Uh, at five o'clock game, they ended that one 13 to nothing. So McKenna Dicker pitched a gem. She has... Yeah, it's hard to get when you have a, a, so much talent. It's really hard to get them enough work. And uh, with Ava Stewie uh, doing the majority of the first. pitching for the Billies, Billy we just got to get the rest of our pitchers like Brenda Wolf and McKenna Dicker some work in, and that uh, makes it tough. So McKenna spent some time with the JV group tonight and threw a gym, so did a great job. But maybe more on that a little bit later. Let's hear from our friends over there. Mr. Gaddy's will be right back. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all you can eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Hey, well, welcome back, every friend out there watching Billy Live. Addison Shesso is a junior. I've been corrected, and I appreciate those corrections. I am so sorry. But let me give you the lineup for the ladies from Ben Bear tonight. Here they are. Riley Smith will be leading off. She's a left fielder. Gabby Barrera hitting two. Riding Presley Green right behind her. Kaylin Ortiz in the Teresa Fernandez yeah. hitting five. Tatum Miller, Kinley Lawless, Bailey Warren, and Hannah Wells. Miss Riley can play. She's got some wheels, pretty good slapper. She's got, uh, she's a ball player. She used to wear a little United uniform back in the day, and I sure enjoyed the opportunity to coach her. She chases one off the mark there from Brindle, first offering. Good to see Brindle in the circle, getting some work tonight. Pitch on the way to Miss Riley. She, oh, Nate, catch that ball. You gotta reach up there and grab that, man. That would have been pretty cool, though. If you could have reached through the net, made a catch. It's gonna run the count 0 and 2 on Miss Smith. Oh, hard one hit toward third. Did I mention she's a pretty good hitter? <laughs> Job, Riley, getting on there. <clears throat> 
right, that's going to bring to the And in second, field. right fielder, number nine, Gabby Barrera. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. I forgot I don't have anybody keeping books here tonight with me, so I'm trying to post uh, the results of each play. And they, it's looking a little bit crooked now, but um, are the legs pretty much where they were? They have to be, huh? Okay, so what we want to do is loosen the right leg, the front right front leg, in just a minute. Let's do it during commercial break so nobody gets home, uh, sick at home. Strike there. This is number nine. Miss Gabby Barrera, the right fielder at the plate now. Presley Greenlee waits on deck. She's the shorty. Shortstop and Kaylin Ortiz, the pitcher, is in the hole. The one two. Swing and a miss for strike three. That girl, Brindle. Batting third for the Bulldogs. Okay. Shortstop, Catch up. number 12, sure Presley Greenlee. Yep, sounds like everything's going good at home. Presley Greenlee. Look at there. Forgot we had the pitch cam. It's back. Go ahead, Nate. I'll keep it on the pitch cam a second. It's loose, and don't worry about it. We'll do, we'll get it in the half. But it looks like um, actually the right leg would need to go up. The left leg would need to go down. So you can do one or the other. It might be easier to go down using gravity. So you'll loosen the left front leg and just take it down like a half inch. When you uh, when you make that mod, Two legs are on the back. Oh, 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 that's even okay. That makes that makes more sense. All right, so you would still do the back left leg, but um, yeah, it may uh, tell you what. Center up for me real quick. Let me look. Yeah. So what it might be if you go to the left and it's just as crooked, it may just be that the front leg's a little high, but. Anyway, we'll work on that great pitch there, Brindley. Uh, Brindle. <laughs> uh, sorry. Right, so two outs now. Brindle picks up her second strikeout and second out of the inning. Kaylin Ortiz, the pitcher, now at the plate. Sarissa Hernandez, the first baseman, waits on deck. Steps out, swings, gets a hard one. Bella not able to get a glove on it. Don't think she would have uh, been able to pick that up and uh, fire it to first in time, regardless. But uh, just outside, she, number fourteen, just outside of reach. Sarissa Hernandez, Fernandez, excuse me, at the plate now, and that's going to have Tatum Miller on deck, the third baseman. Courtesy runner coming in at first base. Got to switch that, didn't I? Sorry. Too much to keep up with. I don't know how Brad Holland does it. So Nate, you can, oh, hard hit ball. Oops, sorry, for the next. It's gonna allow Riley Smith to come in and score. And that's gonna make it two to one. Good throw, Brooklyn. Batting six for the Bulldogs. Third baseman, number 24, Tatum Muller.
very close play over there at first base. Umpire uh, calls her out, and so that's going to conclude the first inning here. I'm trying to remember who made that play. I think it was a one to four. But let me go to ads here real quick and then we'll make that little adjustment. It may not. Security State Bank and Trust is a proud supporter of our local athletes. Whether it's on or off the field, game day or any day, they're here to help you succeed and tackle your financial goals. From personal and business banking to mortgage services or trust services, Security State Bank and Trust can support all your banking needs, helping build communities we call home since 1941. Security State Bank and Trust, proud sponsors of Batlin Billy Sports. Let's go Billies! Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Since 1974, Hill Country Refrigeration has been bringing something extra to every residential customer, besides a cozy and comfortable home. It's built into every heating or air conditioning service. It's part of every estimate. You'll feel it in our handshakes. We carry it with us in our trucks, and it's forever in our hearts. It's our deep love for this community, and of course, our Batlin Billies. Thanks for tuning in, Billy Nation. Tonight's coverage is brought to you by The Inside Story, helping you make your house your home. Segner's Jewelers, with locations in Fredericksburg and Bee Cave. Hill Country Propane, for all your outdoor grilling needs. The FISD Education Foundation, let's make FISD better together. Security State Bank and Trust, celebrating 82 years of serving Fredericksburg. All right, well, we're back, and things were almost tied up here, but uh, Billy's on a nice play uh, from Brindle to Mati Silva at first base on a, kind of a check swing bunt there. Uh, Billy's able to notch the third out uh, before that run could come across, or actually not before the run, could come across, but it was a force out there at first base, so. Um, Addy Chesso, junior Addy Chesso, center fielder, number two, at the plate for the Billies. Good hit there, that's going Oppo Taco. That's gonna be a, at least a double. She's motoring around second now. She, oh boy. She's in there. Nice little dive there. Way to hustle. Chesso. Lead off triple for the Billies. Boy, I'd like to see her leading off for the Billies. I'm not sure uh, what the logic is. If there, there must be some secrets uh, to the formula that. Uh, that I'm not aware of, but just seems like a perfect leadoff hitter. Left-handed, fast, um, can hit, can slap, can bunt, triple threat. She's leading off this inning, so let's see how it goes. Sydney Meyer with an opportunity. Swings at one there. Mati waits on deck behind Sydney. Second baseman tonight, and then uh, Brooklyn Groby will round out the first half through the lineup. Pitch on the way to Sid. She waits on one, rips it down the left field line, but that's foul. On the count to one and one. All right, the Billy's leading with a runner at second and uh, two outs in the bottom of the first. The Billy's up 1 0 over Canyon Lake back in the Berg. Sid does a great job of waiting on one. The uh, third baseman erroneously uh, throws to first. It one hops the. Um, Adding eight for the Billy's second baseman, number 22. First baseman, she's unable to squeeze it. No outs? Yeah, yeah, I meant uh, at the boys' game. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so Sid able to drive a run in on that uh, E5 throw. Mari Silva, senior, number 22, second base tonight. Gets one off the hands. Got to pop up to the shortstop, and they're able to double sit up on the soft liner to short. So uh, two outs now. Billy's played a run a uh, while ago on Sid's hard ground ball to the third baseman. So Brooklyn Groby now to the plate. Knocks a single to right field to start the Billies back out again. Back to the top of the order with Madison Wright. Uh, Maddie had a decent at bat in her first AB. She now batting uh, for the Billies, number 19, Madison Wright. Put one on the highway in right center. Pop that one up to the second baseman for the third out. Well, Miss McGuffey will come to the plate for the Belize when they come back one. up, but uh, coming up for the Bandera Bulldogs is Kinley Lawless, I believe. I may have missed a play in there. We were bouncing around, but all the same. Uh, coming up for you right now is uh, Canop and Votive Hospice. Here we go. Support for the Billies comes from Knopp Healthcare and Votive Hospice, family owned by Fredericksburg natives. Knopp's currently has Fredericksburg's best star rating on Medicare. We'd like to thank the people of Fredericksburg for voting us best of 2023 in the newspaper's Reader's Choice Awards. Knopp's won a total of five categories, including best nursing home, best assisted living, and best physical therapy. Votive is proud to have won best hospice. We'd love to help you when you need us. Call Krisha at 830-928-9956. Knopp Healthcare and Votive Hospice. Small town heart generations of care Arrowhead Bank is celebrating 100 years of serving the Hill Country. Their goal is to greet you by name when you walk in the door and provide you the banking help you need today. You're guaranteed to speak to someone you know when you pick up the phone. Arrowhead Bank wants to thank all the employees of Fredericksburg ISD. Good luck to the Batlin Billies in all activities this school year. Arrowhead Bank, 502 South Adams, 830-990-9300. Check them out online, arrowheadbanktexas.com. We sure hope you're enjoying the coverage of today's game, and if you are, do us a favor. Be sure and thank DR Welding. Quality and craftsmanship make the difference. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Get your stride back. Arrowhead Bank. Financial services for the Hill Country since 1923. Arizona Plumbing, the Hill Country's number one plumber. And by J4 Trailers. That's where I got mine. Well, welcome back to Bandera, Texas. Paige Finley and Nate Thompson here in the big city bringing you some Bailey's Live. Oh, base hit to right center to start things off. Oh, up with it quick and over to right. Robbie Griffin had a great idea there. She came up with that ground ball quick and fired it into Miss City, who's now ball at ball. first base. Looks like Laren is over at third. I'm not sure when that change happened, um, but it's happened. Maybe it happened at the beginning and I just didn't even notice it, but. Anyway, single to right field to start it out. Ooh. <clears throat> Errant throw. Oh, hello. Uh, throw was on the, pretty far on the right side of the bag there. Uh, got past both Bella and Madi in the center field. Addy came up with a quick fire to third, but not in time. So just like that, Miss Lawless. Is that right? Yes, because that's Bailey Ward at the at word at the plate. So Miss Lawless, after a single to right, has a stolen base and ooh, that was really close. A little snap throw from Maddie. Um, hard to see down there at third base. Those throws coming from Maddie. So, uh, but she stole a base and then advanced on the throwing error. So Bailey Ward here with a 2-0 count. Billy's in the lead, three to one. Fouls that one off her fingernails. That always feels good. Madeline Billies. Baseball. 3-0 over Canyon Lake. Still in the bottom of the first inning. Got two outs there. But uh, one out here against Bandera. 
throw softball game. We're enjoying it. Another good hit up the middle. That one gets by uh, Mati's glove in much the same way that the uh, ball in the first inning uh, got by uh, between the five and six hole there, just outside of the reach of Bella's glove. So, a couple of base hits already Pitcher, in this three. inning. A uh, couple of base hits last inning. They had a single and a double, and now they've got a single and a single and a run scored. Hannah Wells, the catcher, is at the plate now, and then we'll be back to the top and Riley Smith. That ball, Nate, you've got to have those, man. If you got to climb the net, hey, you have our permission. It's a video that would go viral. one from Brendel. Still no outs here in the bottom of the second. Oh, ouch. You all right, man? Got to run the count to two and two. I don't think that's going to stay in the park. It might. It might. Oh, Larry with a great catch. How about that? That ball did. That giant breeze you see not blowing the flag around at all out there in center field must have blown that one in, or I'm just a dork and can't read it. But that ball stayed in the park right in front of the third base dugout. Right. With a fantastic grab. So, Billy's able to record an out here on the F5. Riley Smith back to the plate. She singled and scored the first run of the game for... The Bulldog single to the left on a pretty good hit in a tough count, too. I think it was 1 2 or 0 oh 2. She takes one outside. Maddie gets a glove on it, able to keep it in front, but runner able to advance on the wild pitch. Miss Bailey Word, the second baseman over there at second base. And that's a 2 0 count now from Brindle. Brindle sports the double four, usually over there in the hot corner at third base. That's where Miss Laren Foyke is tonight, who's usually over at first base. So Brindle in the circle, Laren at third, Sid at first. Good smack out there. Not going to be able to chase that one down. Brooklyn gave good chase, but that ball tailing away from her in left field into foul territory for a long strike. Riley, probably one of the nicest girls you'll ever meet. Just a sweet girl, comes from a good, strong family, and uh, she's a pleasure to get to coach a little bit. Nice pick, Maddie Wright. Speaking of a pleasure to get to coach, that was a heck of a pick there. Nate, can you go down just a touch? We're getting, and then what we're going to want you to do is uh, brighten up one notch. Thank you, sir. Shade and Sun are playing tricks on us. Nice. Good pitch there from Brendel. Run the count full. 3-2 with one out here in a close game. One out runner at second base. Good, good hitter in Smith at the plate. Pitch on its way, ball four. Now batting for the Bulldogs. Gabby Number Romero. Nine. Gabby struck out in her first at bat and she's coming to the plate now. And then Presley Greenlee, the shortstop, also struck out in her first at bat who's on deck now. 
Coach Collin, time out to have a word with Gabby Brer, and that gives me a chance to thank the fine folks over at the FISD Education Foundation. You make a difference. Give today. FISDkids.org slash donate. Hey, we're back. Did you miss us? Be honest. Don't lie. If you didn't, you didn't, and I understand. Runners at first and second now. One out. Fresh count on the new batter. This is Miss Gabby Barrera. Oh, there's a good one on the outside from Brindle Wolf. Brindle, a strong right-handed freshman. Plays some mean third base too. Got a nice little whip on the uh, short throws over there. Impressive. That one's upstairs for ball one. Shout out to our district champion golf team. They were putting on a showcase to, in the last couple of days and uh, did extremely well. Uh, I, I can't remember how much they led, but it was a sizable lead when it was all said and done over, uh, I believe Wimberley finished second, but don't hold me to that because Bernie was very close behind them in third yesterday uh, before today's round began. Uh, three strokes separated first and second yesterday. Eight strokes separated first and third yesterday. So, but uh, the Billies played very well as a team today. And uh, yeah, three one is now the count here. There's a swing and a miss. Gabby Barrera works the count, or I, I should say, Brindle works the count full on Gabby Barrera. Strohs fall to the Yankees in uh, the later innings. Strohs rallied there at the end to try to come back, but couldn't put it together. Sure hitting Bregman uh, grounded out to end the game with runners at first and second in a 5-4 ball game. So Strohs start out two years in a row, 0-1. This time to the Yankees on a matinee game. Blows my mind. I can't get the Yankees to play a matinee game except for opening day at Minute Maid Park. So Gabby draws walk. Presley Green lead to the plate now. Pops one up to Laren again. Laren making all the outs. This thing selfish. I tell you what, number five over there. We'd be happy if she wants to continue that. How about in for the ball ball? <laughs> Another number five. Four. Number hey, four, man. Kaylin Ortiz at the plate now. She's seen it to left in her first at bat. And if I'm not mistaken, she drove in Miss Riley Smith. She's the pitcher tonight for the Bulldogs. She pops that one up, not to learn, but to Mighty. Oh, mm. okay. That ball uh, bounces in front of my. Oh, boy. Got her. Okay. All right. Mighty picks it up, fires over to. Addison Shesso, who's backing up, comes in from center field. Two, so the old four to eight high, three, <laughs> for the third three, out. Three. Uh, them Bailey's, they find a way. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be right back. Arizona Plumbing, your full service plumbing provider for the Fredericksburg community and beyond. We have the tools and experience for comprehensive residential and commercial plumbing, including everything from water filtration to drain services for new construction or even remodeling. Have an after hours emergency? No problem. Don't settle for less than the best. We're online at arizolaplumbing.com or give us a call at 830-998-4336. When it comes to managing your financial investments, any idea how much of your money it takes just to cover your investor's fees? My name is Eddie Kramer, Certified Financial Planner Professional from the Batlam Billy Class of 2000. At SSBNT Wealth Management, all our advisors are on salary, so we never receive commissions, loads, or kickbacks from your investments. So guess who keeps more of your money? You do. Your plan, your goals, your purpose. Give us a call today, 990-7750. Let's go. Welcome back. Well, I've got a minute, and don't forget, I uh, want to be sure and thank the fine folks at Diamond W Specialties. That's the Wolf family. That's uh, Brenda Wolf, our pitcher tonight. They're folks. They are the title sponsors for the boys' baseball regular season, pre and regular season, and also a special pecan sponsor. Here we go. Diamond W Specialties, a cut above the rest. Go, Billy! 
There they were. Number 10, Riley McGuffey in the two hole tonight after <clears throat> Maddie Wright. Now batting for the Billies. Number 10, Riley yes. McGuffey. Thank you. My wife is letting me know that the Billies, uh, the golf team district champions, um, oh, that one fouled off. Uh, won by six strokes over Wimberley. My dad uh, sent me the scoreboard here. So uh, six strokes over Wimberley and um, Mm, 34 strokes over Bernie, who finished third. So the first two teams advance, as I understand it, to uh, the next round. So congrats to those boys. I'll read their names here in just a minute. Riley, uh, way out front, rolling over on the ball. Uh, a couple of foul balls over there to third base. Just let that ball get deeper. Go back up the middle with it. Uh, Lincoln Stotts was the third place medalist. Louis Melton, Shepard Finley, Nicholas Mead, and Cade Wilson or your Billies, the uh, first place district golf team. Congratulations to all those boys. Very good scores, very good scores. Coach came in and Coach Hex, congratulations to y'all too. Riley pops from the left, that's gonna drop and allow uh, Speedy McGuffey to try to take second again. She actually slid under the tag. The young lady went to make the tag. She had it down, then picked it up and chased after Riley a little bit and in Lifting the tag up off the ground, out to chase her a little bit. Riley slid, and it looked to me like she slid under the tag, but we're gonna have a question from there. Coach Nate, one more notch, if you would, buddy. Maybe a couple, actually, one more. You can, are your, uh, all your ND filters out? Drop, it's okay, drop them all out, and then you can brighten down. There you go, blow us out, right there. That's good, thank you. Riley, a lot of hustle there. Uh, Umpire's discussing what the safe is to call. Thought she was under it myself, but she had the tag down, but Riley was so far away from the tag that she it surprised her, and she went to pursue her, thinking now maybe a pickle five, situation was Aaron incoming, Oye. but uh, Riley slid right as she lifted up the tag and slid under the tag. Good move, Riley. Uh, Miss Foyge, maybe? Yes, Laren Foyge at the plate. She takes ball four, and on the pass ball, uh, right. What, did it hit her? I guess it hit her, not ball four. Yeah, Riley just hit, sorry y'all. I am way behind on my stats here, so. Riley. HBP by the human magnet, also known as Laren Foyge. That girl always gets hit, amazing. And now Brenda Wolf, who grounded to the first baseman in her first at bat, followed by Bella Henley, who grounded back to the pitcher in her first at bat. Brenda pokes one out to right. That's going to go foul. Oops, there you go. Yeah, listen to the scores from our top three golfers in the last couple days. Lincoln. Stotts shot a 72 yesterday and a 74 today. Louis Melton, 77. That ball is popped to center. Oh, falls right behind the shortstop there. Who Comes up with it quickly, fires into third, but not in time. That's going to load the bases with billies, and that's always a good thing. Anyway, 72-74 for Lincoln Stotts. Louis Melton, 77-75. Shepard Finley, 75-73. Finley. And our four and five guys did really well as well. 88 and 95 for the freshman Nicholas Mead. And I don't know what class Cade Wilson is in, but he shot 91 and today an 83. Great turnaround day for him. So great job to our Fab Five there and uh, district champions. Proud of those guys. Okay, sorry. Proud dad moment. Thank y'all for Now running for the Billies at first base, number 15, Natalie Simmons. So Brindle reaches on the hit to third. Now Bella grounds to the shortstop. That could be two. There's one. Nope, she's going to be safe at first on the 6 4 fielder's choice RBI. Now batting for the Billies. Number two, Addie Jessup. Addie Jessup to the plate. All advances on the field, on the uh, defense and the difference. Able to 
Plate Riley McGuffey on that 6 4 Fielder's Choice. Larry Foy over to third. Right off the end of the bat for Addy. That's like a slap. You ain't going to get that. Girl, she can wheel. So that advances Bella to third and drives in Miss Foy. The Bella is, the Bella is. 5 3. For the Excuse me. Number 20, Sydney Meyer. Yeah, 5 3. So. I'm lost. Oh, 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 freeze, Addy. Oh, we got. Two. Nope, that ball's dropping. So, base hit. Yeah, more billies, more billies. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep up with this. Brad, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> now batting for the Billies, number 22, yeah, so Mariana Silva. Single to short. RBI. And then Sid. Doubles. Right. And then Mari. Oh, did she catch that ball? She just missed it. Foul ball, ball must have hit the ground. Uh, Sid was tagging wisely. You know, diving catches with one, with uh, fewer than two outs, you can, of course, tag up on that, and that was a heck of an effort from the shortstop. She's not able to regain composure in time to throw Sydney out at third. That was smart base running by Miss Sid over there. Maricela back to the plate now with an 0-1 count. I think I've just about caught up. Nate, will you brighten up? Monty right back up the middle with a strong base hit. That's going to drive in Sydney Meyer. See what happens on the throw. No throw at all. So Sydney will come in. Good hit, Marty. Now that is going to eight RBI. Number three, Brooklyn. Over. And let's see, Addy has scored. Sydney has scored. Brenda Wolf did not score. She was the one that was out on the force out. On the 6 4 fielder's choice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six Billies scored this inning, I believe. Can't, that might be. Uh oh, Brooklyn pops up to the catcher. That's going to be trouble tonight. Catcher made a valiant effort, but not able to come up with it. So, Brooklyn nine lives. Billies up 8 3 now. along the inside there. Let me check on the boys game real quick. Oh, they're on commercial break, so I can't, <laughs> can't tell you how they're doing. 5-0, five, oh, five to nothing Billies. All right, on the baseball the game at the end of the second inning. Thank you for the update, Mr. Hahn. He and Peter have the call tonight there in Fredericksburg. One more notch on your brightness, Nate. Pitch on the way. It's outside. Ball four. So, Brooklyn will reach on a base on balls, and we're back to the top of the lineup, which is where we were. Now batting for the Billies, number 19, Madison Wright. When this inning started, uh, this offensive inning. So, Maddie back up. She flew out to the second baseman in her first A-B. No, no. Maddie's the ninth batter this inning. I'm sorry. One out. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't hit the flag, Maddie. My goodness, girl. Show some respect. Oh, took out old Glory. <laughs> That's uh, her second bomb and three at-bats. <laughs> uh, I think that's 11 and 12 on the season. She's got a dozen now, I believe. My goodness. Papa Winslow, whatever you're feeding her, could you, like, share some love with the rest of the squad? Like... Especially the Finley house. I'm right up here. Hey, Mr. Hat in the right corner of the screen. <laughs> Mr. Straw Hat, give me some of the goodies. <laughs> Nate, track that man down. <laughs> Whatever he's feeding that girl. That's that guy right there with a the white hat. He's a guilty part. <laughs> and it's Maddie's mama that's keeping the score for us. So probably done hurt her feelings to put some more runs on the board that her daughter cost. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ball was well struck. Almost hit the glory out there. Ms. McGuffey hit her double to left, her second double of the night. She pops that to the second baseman for the second out. F4. Larry Foye, shocker, hit by pitch in her now first out. I think it could have something to do with just being Aaron. such a tall target. Wait. Like, I wouldn't want to pitch to her either. Bat speed and stuff, I'd, I'd probably just plunk her. No offense, Laren, but... She pops to second baseman again. She's been busy tonight. Makes a nice catch on that one to retire the side. 11 to three is the score now. That concludes the top of the third. <coughs> Billy, 11. Gonna go Hold to the off. bottom of the three. And uh, thank you for watching right here on Live. We'll be right back. Hello friends, this is Shane Fronson from The Inside Story. We'd like to thank you, our Ferksburg community, for trusting us with all your home decorating needs. Whether wood or tile floors, window treatments or wallpaper, vinyl plank or paint, for 43 years now, you've made us the number one rated store in the area. And we couldn't be prouder to back our billies right here on billies.live. Thank you, Fredericksburg, for choosing The Inside Story. Drop by today and let us help make your house a home. Billy Nation, we couldn't do it without the help of our sponsors, like the Real Estate Advisory Team, your source for Hill Country Real Estate, Security State Bank Wealth Management, your plan, your goal, your purpose, Strayer and Offers, serving the Hill Country since 1928, Creek Street Dental, treating patients with care and compassion, Gaddy's Pizza, pizza, games, and party rooms, Number 14, Did you miss us? Fernandez. It was a short break. The Belays, the Belays, 11-3 here. Kaylin Ortiz is the batter here in the bottom of the third inning. Game definitely not over. Billy's still have some runs to score, and will. And uh, the Bulldogs have put three on the board in the first two innings. So pretty high scoring game for just two and a half innings. Shout out to Opie and Granny. Opie, Butch, and Teresa, Wilgahausen. Hope you guys are having a great night, and thanks for always being encouraging here on these broadcasts. What a weekend. Maundy Thursday, good Friday tomorrow, the greatest Friday ever, saddest Friday ever, and the greatest Friday ever. Oh, Maddie. <laughs> Addie, Addie thought about coming up with that one quick and firing it to first, but uh, Miss Ortiz able to reach safely on a single to center. That's her second hit of the night. She had a hit to left in the first hit at bat. Oh, you know what? I'm a, I'm a batter behind. Imagine that. That was Sarissa Fernandez, and this is Tatum Miller, uh, number 27. So not sure how we got the last out in the last inning against Miss Ortiz, but... There's a good pitch, Maddie. Oh my, got her! Great shot, great shot. Hit a bomb, throw him out. You got any other tricks up your sleeve, girlfriend? Maddie Wright threw an absolute dart and uh, caught Miss Fernandez stealing there. Nice catch and tag. See, oh, we've had some defensive changes. Looks like Riley is in it short and oh, swing and a miss there. Uh, from, let's see, Tatum Miller. Yeah, Tatum Miller, the third baseman. Wait, no? That's a sub, too. That's number 24. So I'm not sure who that is hitting. I don't have the full roster, but. Pop to Mati at second. She's under that one and makes the grab. So two outs now. Now batting for the Bulldogs, number 11. Hindley Lawless. I'm to think of, is it still Brooklyn left? I think it is. I'm starting to see if there are any other changes. Robbie's in right yet. So it looks like the DP just entered the game, uh, which their ground ball to six over to three. No, nope. throw pulled her off. So the E6 on the throw pulled uh, Laren, who's a pretty tall drink of water. Off the bag, she now tried to get the back on the bag as quickly two. as she could, Bailey but a Burr. very speedy Kinley Lawless is able to sneak in there 
and uh, Reach on the E6T. Bailey Word now, the second baseman at the plate for the Bulldogs. Swings it one down the dirt. Oh, Maddie guns another one down. She almost got, uh, I don't know who that is. I, I wanted to say it was, not, that's not Tatum Miller anymore, is it? Who's number 24? Oh, Tatum Moeller. Okay, I had, I had her as 27 for some reason. So that was Tatum Moeller. Sorry, folks. Um, yeah, she's wearing 24, not 27. I had that wrong, and that is her, and she can fly. Tatum Moeller, and I've been saying her name wrong, too, so... Ah, got it. Okay, so it was 27. They swapped it to 24, and Hannah Wells is now number three. Got it. Thank you. Okay, so we did have it right. Get, just had a little typo on the roster there. Great pitch there. Strike three from Miss Brenda Wolf. Caught Miss Word watching. That's three and the three. Billy's 11, Bulldogs three. So 11 to three, your final after three complete. And the Batlin Billy's baseball team are beating up on the Canyon Lake Hawks five to nothing at home right now. So a couple of Billy team, the Billies are just going to work today. So congrats to all of them competing and playing well. We'll be right back. Strayer and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. Billy Nation, we couldn't do it without the help of our sponsors, like the Real Estate Advisory Team, your source for Hill Country Real Estate, Security State Bank Wealth Management, your plan, your goal, your purpose. Strayer and Offers, serving the Hill Country since 1928. Creek Street Dental, treating patients with care and compassion. Gaddy's Pizza, pizza, games, and party rooms. We're back in Bandera. Our pitcher, Brenda Wolf, is back in the batter's box. That's a lot of bees, and the Billies are battling. That's even more bees. Root beer, ever had any? Gosh, can't wait. I was talking about Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. Thank you, Jesus. Finley family celebrates together, and all of them are coming in. I'm so thankful. So drive safe, kiddos. Look forward to seeing you. Easter Resurrection Sunday coming. It's Friday, but Sundays are coming. Ball down in the dirt past the plate for ball number Trey. So 3-0 count now to Brenda Wolf. Brenda singled to short in her last A-B. 6-3, oh my. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> she hit an absolute dart. Stand up double. That a girl. Wow, great hit. Man, it's fun to watch these girls swing the bat. Uh, we've got a courtesy runner, number 15. That's gonna be now Natalie running Simmons 15, running for Natalie our pitcher, Simmons. Brenda Wolf. After she now doubles for the to left. Bella Finley. Bella Finley at the plate. Bella uh, has hit into a 1-3 and a 6-4 filter's choice. She bolts there. Nice bunt. Sack bunt. The throw gets into right field. That's going to allow Bella to advance at least a second. There she goes. Why not? Right fielder was caught holding on to the ball. So Bella with a... Got a bunt down. All right. Boo. Got a girl. Uh, sack bunt. And uh, advances to third on the, the, on the throwing error. So that a girl. Addie Shesso now to the plate. Bella at third base, no outs here in the top of the fourth. Pitch on the way. I meant to pass that to you. Did you see that? <laughs> no. Addie Shesso has 
tripled and singled to short. There she, oh, she rolls over on one to the shortstop. That's going to be a close play. That's, she's safe. Yeah, she beat that out. <laughs> and you just cannot mess around on speedy lefties. They're three and a half feet closer to start with, cheating. Now batting for the Billy, number 20. She's going to come out of the dugout and Meyer. ask for some help on that call, too. I really do think she beat it out. We don't have a replay with us tonight. The boys got it on the Billy's Live. So that'll put the Billies up by 10 now with still no outs here in the top of the fourth. Ten run roll kicks in, I believe, after five. But uh, I don't know. This will be interesting to see if it gets overturned because I really do think she was safe. Yep, call stands safe. Nate, you'll brighten up one more notch, buddy. Maybe two. Let me see. Let's go one more and just see what happens. Just for good measure. That's too hot. Come on back down. That boy. Nate doing a great job. Glad he could come. And y'all are, unfortunately, when I travel like this, I'm usually usually flying solo, which means just a lock shot. But uh, Nate was willing to make the trip. And we got the hang. Oh, my gosh. Sydney Meyer. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that uh, the third baseman was alert and that ball wasn't now somewhere other than the right the toward her glove. Sydney had an absolute dart there to the third baseman's glove and it was in and out of there fast and she was able to get oh delay steal from Chesso and now to follow that up Sidney Meyer so double delay steal kind of nice Mari Silva at the plate for the Belez she singled center in her last AB right up the middle had an RBI Oh, she waited on one, thought about the same thing there, didn't she? So, great day for the Billies. Tune back into the boys' game right quick. Bottom of the third, Billies have a runner at second with no outs, and they're leading five to nothing over the Hawks back home. Oh, Speedy Chesso. Oh, she's, they got her that time. She, uh, nice hustle by the catcher. I'll just end it there. That was just a good, quick reaction by the catcher on the pass ball that got to the fence and back. Uh, popped right back towards the catcher. She was able to retrieve it and hustle back to home plate. Probably aware that Addie was speedy and coming in from third. Made a great out there at home. But Sid advances to third base on the same play. Mati with a 2-1. Oh, Turned in, dodged it, 3-1 count now. Number three, on deck, Brooklyn Groby. Down just a touch, Nate. Kind of center the field in your shot, if you would. Oh, Mati waits on one, pops it pretty hard to the right fielder. I don't think she's gonna be able to track that one down, no. For, so another hit by Mati. That right fielder plays like on the wall, and I don't blame her. We've had, what, two, three bombs? Now batting for the Billies, number three. Yeah, and uh, Mati just Brooklyn, Texas Brooklyn. leagued one right out there. Nice hit. So drives in a run. Hmm? Oh, I just mean like down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so we got a lot of sky there. So you could come down about 20%. Yeah, right in there. Yep, that's good. Kind of center things up a little better. Yeah. Brooklyn Groby looking at an 0-2 count now. One out here in the top of the fourth. Billy's over the Bandera Bulldogs. Or the Batman Billy's 14-3. I'm going to guess Miss Ava Stewie is not with the night off. I'm going to guess she's tracking of some sort somewhere. But uh, I haven't gotten confirmation from anyone on that. If anybody knows, let me know. I sure appreciate it. Brooklyn. Rifles one to right, foul. A little bit out front. Good hit. Just foul. Oh. 
first base. Or er, okay, so pitcher up with it quickly, off the bat of Brooklyn. And heads to first with it in time for the out. Madison Wright. Now batting for the Billions, number 19. Do you Madison pitch to her? Wright. Do you pitch to her, Nate? She's got two bombs today out of three at bats. They got her once. She popped up to second, but I don't know. Why don't you hit one hard for a change, Maddie? Oh boy, she does. Line drive out to Shorty. Diving line drive out to Shorty. So nice play there. That ends the top of the fourth. But another late. Oh, Ava's homesick. That's not what I wanted to hear, Steven. Darn. Well, good. Then maybe she'll get in some rest this night off. You tell her not to worry. I think the game is safe. We miss her dearly. But we want her to get well ASAP. So, Ava. From all the Billy fans that love watching you do your thing, rest, get well. We'll talk to you soon. Ooh, man. You're playing like a new player since your hip surgery. I'm telling you, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine has changed my life. I lived with the pain of that old football injury for years. Never thought I'd walk right again. They did this minimally invasive procedure thing. Really sped up my recovery faster than I ever imagined. Man, I've been struggling with this old tennis elbow for years. I wonder if they could help me out. Absolutely. They work wonders. Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, getting you back in the game of life. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast, and if you are, be sure to thank these fine sponsors. Joseph Financial Partners, assisting every aspect of your financial life. Tanya White Chambers and the Sterling Real Estate Group. Votive Hospice, Small Town Heart, Generations of Care. Hill Country Refrigeration, quality heating and air in the Hill Country. And by the FISD Education Foundation. Let's make FISD better together. Hey, before we get rolling with this bottom half of the fourth inning, real quick, Tuesday next week, baseball. Them boas got Bernie at home. That's going to be a good one. And then uh, the girls play on Friday against Canyon Lake at home. So. Go Billies. First offering to number three, who I thought was number six earlier. Same person, just different number. That's Hannah Wells. First offering to her is fouled off. Randall Toes delivers upstairs. Ball. Two, I believe. Two, one count. Pitch on the way. Swing fouled off on the right side for strike two. It's going to even the count at twos. Got any Billy fans watching or not? Yeah, there's a few. Got, I think, 62 right now, 115, so 14 so far. That one's outside. It's going to run the count full. Let's check out that boys game. See how they're doing real quick. Up, still up 5-0, bottom three. Pitch from Brindle, the full count, no outs here in the bottom four. Ooh, up and in, ball four. Now batting for the Bulldogs, number one, Riley Smith. Here she comes, Riley Smith. She's a good hitter. Umpire's thinking about something. Oh, I think we had a courtesy runner over at Foy Space. Couldn't tell you what it is. Okay, we're in the fourth, not the third page. Nate, we'll try one more notch after this pitch. Uh-oh, Riley hits one up the middle. Mighty not able to get to that one. Addy up with it quick. Oh, 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 oh. Go ahead. oh. 
Got her at third. Overran third base and tag was placed. So Addie Shesso <laughs> records her second out tonight. <laughs> so that was an eight to five. Now batting for the Bulldogs, uh, number nine, Gabby Barrera. I think the, uh, yeah, thank you. I think the uh, courtesy runner uh, down just a bit, Nate, uh, was a little um, overzealous, let's put it that way. That ball's popped the left. That's going to get out of play. And uh, got one out here now with a runner at second. So Riley centers, uh, singles, excuse me, to center. But uh, Hannah Wells. Hannah Wells' courtesy runner was thrown out at third on the 8-4. Gabby Barrera now at the plate for the Bulldogs. Good pitch there upstairs from Brendel. Take the count to 0-2. Freshman, Brendel Wolf. As I mentioned, uh, some of you may recall from me mentioning it earlier that McKenna Dicker threw a gem of a game uh, for the JV squad. They won that one 13 to blank. Archie, just want to give you a little shout out there. I hear you're headed to the lake, I believe, for Easter weekend. Hope you enjoy your time with your family. Thanks for your investment in all these girls' lives, coaching for all these years. So many. They say a good definition of humility is recognizing that you're only the sum of the investment of others in your life. Well, ain't that the truth? I'm sure glad to invest in these billies. They're fun to watch. Three to two. Three two is the count here with one out. Swing and a miss for strike out. Had a girl miss Brenda Wolf. Riley's uh McGuffey comes in there. <laughs> Different Riley. Now, Riley Smith is at base. <laughs> She's out there for a there, but Riley Bailey. McGuffey uh, came in to high five the strikeout queen there, Miss Brenda Wolf. Presley Greenlee now comes to the plate. She popped up to Maddie, maybe. Ooh, watch that bat, honey. There you go. Good job. And that's going to do it. So four up, three down. Ms. Greenlee pops into the F2. That concludes the fourth inning. Billy's 15, Bulldogs 3. 15, 3? Okay. 14. Okay, uh, is, is it 14? 14, 3? 14, 3. We'll be right back, y'all. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. Segner's has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. Located at 236 West Main Street or find us on the web at segnersjewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies! My name is David Smith, Fredericksburg FBO. This business has done now five large metal buildings through Donny Ray. He is honest, enormously competent in the matter of metal buildings. He's been doing metal buildings for 35 years. Service is excellent. The work is reliable and they're fast. Now, these are the qualities that will come through and deliver value. Hey, get yourself that YouTube app on that Smarty television you got. Good investment, by the way, Smarty TVs. Or that cellular phone. Get, download that YouTube app. Number just 10. saw it. I'm going to run it again just because we can. There's Miss Riley right there. And anyway, like, oh boy, Miss Riley doing what Miss Riley does. Nice catch and left, though. Wow, she hit that ball hard. Line out to left field. Good hit, Riley. Let me get that going. Sorry, Riley was interrupting my, my plan there to tell you all about uh, subscribing to Billy's Live. Yeah, so download it, like, subscribe, and then click that notification bell. So here's how it works. Whenever Billy's Live goes live, how cool is this? You actually get a notification that says, hey, Billy's Live is live. 
if you enable notifications. So I encourage you to do that, and uh, that way you'll know whenever we're live. Ooh, that was another ball, hard hit. Shorty made a great play on that. That was a one or maybe two hopper hard hit ball to Short. She came up with it. I think it might have shocked her that she got it, but now she did. Collected herself and threw mm -hmm. a dart over to first base in time for the out. So 6-3 is how we're going to record that one for Miss Larry. Brenda Wolf now at the plate. Brenda's two for three, I believe. Rolled into a 6 3 in her first AB and then got a single to short and then a double to left in her last at bat. Last at bat, she hit a bullet. Takes one off the tip of the shoes there. She ain't telling nobody. She wants to hit. Bella Finley, who started it short, but has been subbed in defensively for the DP with the DP Riley McGuffey, still hits in the lineup, and she waits on deck. Brindle, bottles. That wand in her hand is the waiting on the pitch. Pitch was delivered there by Miss Ortiz, low and inside, and uh, Brindle able to fight it off. Count goes to three and one. Fight it off the fingernails, I should say. Pitch on the way upstairs, ball four. Bella sack bunt, got it down, nice bunt. Very nice bunt in her last at bat. We got a courtesy runner, number 15 again, Billy. Natalie Simmons. Number 11. We're running across Bella. the field Bennett. there for pitcher Brenda Wolf. So this is how we started out the last inning. Uh, well, we've got two outs here in this inning now. So ball at the plate. Does not square to Munt. Swings at that one. Fouls it off. Down to Bella there, 1-1 one, one count. Mr. Foige, thank you for tuning in. Michael Garza, thank you guys for, for tuning in. Mr. Foige's in Eagle Pass watching. Goodness, brother, be careful. Bella rolls over to Shorty. That's not going to be in time to get anybody. And I think I think that was a an in-between throw. Uh, so shortstop fielded it. Came up, looked to second. Uh, but a blazing Natalie two. Simmons was Batting. already there. I don't think she would have had a play anyway. Uh, and then looked over to first, and Bella was already there. So she kind of threw it somewhere between first and second into right field. So allowing Bella to reach second after the single and Natalie to reach third. So Addison Chesso now to the plate. Addie, if you don't know, has wheels. Uh, she's had a triple. She rolled over there on one. Let it come to you, kiddo. Very eager to hit, which is great. But she needs to be patient. Let that ball come to her. She had a triple in her first at bat and then a single to the shortstop and then uh, reached on an E4 in her last AB. So she's three for three in terms of on-base percentage there. She stays behind the ball properly. And dumps one in the left. That's going to score a couple of more billies. She's on her way to second. Easy does it. Two RBI single to left. Advances to second on the throw. Great job. Now batting for the billies, number 20, Sydney Meyer. Oh, thank you, hon. Sorry, y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all didn't get to see any of that. Poop. Uh, I need somebody here keeping the scorebook for me. I don't know how Brad does it. So while the coach.
coach has a quick conversation, I'm going to run a quick word of appreciation from the FISD Education Foundation. The Fredericksburg ISD Education Foundation wants you to know that every dollar counts. Give today at FISDkids.org. There it was. Man, I'm grateful to be partnering with the FISD Education Foundation and making much of these battling billies. All they do for our... Oh, good hit there. Sydney bids for another hit. Shorty uh, fires one in 6-3, and Sydney's out that time. So end of five but and uh, anyway, what I was going to say 15. is they provide so Hold much off. for Three. faculty, staff, admin uh, at the FISD. Could not be the school district we are, which is a fantastic one, without the aid and help and support and strength of the FISD Education Foundation, and that means you, all of those that donate and support the cause. So, appreciate you, Fredericksburg community. We'll be right back after these messages. I think I'll just leave it on the same way. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. So I was looking for a new cattle trailer. Stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business. I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was going to buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. It's a high fly ball back deep at the wall. It's a, uh, nope, short and caught for out number three. No one wants to come up short, especially with your retirement plan. Have you practiced the soft toss enough to smash the home runs? If you don't have all your bases covered with retirement, college savings, life insurance, and long-term care, call Joseph Financial Partners. We'll go around the horn and get your team ready for the big game. Call 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities are offered through LPL Financial Member for this event. All right, that first pitch fouled off. I think I have a solution for my uh, lack of um, change. Look, we'll just do something like this. Now you can see the pitch coming. <laughs> we'll do a mix. You can see the pitch, and I won't forget to switch. <laughs> That's terrible, sorry. Oh, steps back, pops that one right up to Mati. <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> uh, F4. Now batting for the Bulldog, number 14, Sarissa Fernandez. Callan Ortiz right there with a pop-up to the second baseman, brings up Sarissa Fernandez, the first baseman, who, by the way, is two for two tonight, has a double to left and a single to center. So, like I said, these girls from Bandera, they put three runs across early, 16 to three now. She rolls to the shorty, Riley up, oh, not able to field that one cleanly. It's a couple of side steps instead of uh, coming to get that one, and the ball shoots between her legs. So E6 on that one, and now we're going to have Tatum Moeller, number 24. Tatum Moeller, number 24. Tatum Moeller, number 24. She hit it into a ground ball out uh, to the pitcher in her first at bat, and I missed the second one. So I'm watching this time, y'all. Tuned in. I'm ready. How about that? Oh, dropping frames all of a sudden. Internet's bouncing around. Hopefully it'll solidify. Rolls to the third baseman. Oh, nice. Okay, Laren fires a dart over the second base in time for the second out. So a little fielder's choice for Miss Muller in that A.B. on the 6th floor. Now batting for the Bulldogs, number 11. It's going to be Kimley Lawless, the center fielder to the plate. She also has a hit to right, and uh, she reached on the previous E6. Kinley Lawless, number 11, center fielder. Ball down, nice stop, Maddie. Well, if we can record this third out, that'll be uh, the 10 run mercy rule. If we can record this third out before the Bulldogs are able to put across four runs. But we got work to do, we got another out to notch yet.
Brenda working with that sand pit out there. This time of year. Oh, ground ball. Riley comes up with it. Throws apparently to first base. Off. Oh, Brenda snagged that one fast. It's like ninja skills out there by Brenda Wolf. Uh, right off the, the tip. Now uh, batting for the uh, Number two. Sydney's glove to right field. Uh, and uh, that allows the runner to reach at first base and then the the or the batter to reach to first base and the runner was able to take third. Um, Sydney re retrieved the ball quickly and fired it over to third, but uh, the cat-like ninja skills of uh, Brenda Wolf was able to snag that sucker out of the air. So, Coach, just probably just chatting with the girls to calm them down a little bit. But that gives us a minute to think to find folks over there at Diamond W Specialties. Diamond W Specialties, a cut above the rest. Go, Billy! And we're back. Runner at third base, two outs. Runner at first base. Tried to go to second there. Let's take a quick look at the standings. So, bar, uh, this was before, the, or, you know, before tonight's game. So, uh, Billy's 4-0 in district. Davenport right behind him, 3-1. You see the runs for and against there. Billy's have given up three runs on the year. Davenport, 15. Oh, tried to steal. <clears throat> Uh, that's going to play another run. We'll take another look at that here in just a minute. But um, the runner stole second. Uh, and the throw was there in time. Uh, but the, the slide was into the, the tag and the ball bounced out and uh, was free. I think the runner's okay. She probably made good contact there. Uh, but the ball bounced out and so runner safe and then allow the runner from third to score would have been third out so maddie would have had her second throw out of the night right there but uh unable to hold on to it when bodies are moving that quick into a glove with a ball in it it happens a lot it's tough to tough to catch it and make that tag without losing control in that short amount of time at those speeds so runner second they played their fourth run of the night 16 to 4 now Two outs, two balls, two strikes. Let's go, Bendis. Pitch on the way from Brindle. Ball on the outside. That's full count. All right, real quick, let's take another look at those standings all quick. Gavin, so much about it. Wimberley and Bernie knotted up at two and two. Canyon Lake, one and three. And Bandera here tonight, uh, 0 and four. So. That's that. Let's see what happens right here. Ball four. So another runner reaches for the Bulldogs. Now batting for the Bulldogs, number three, Anna Well. Before time expires, let me also say congrats. I'm a slow learner here, but super congrats to not just the boys golf team, but the girls golf team also is advancing to the next round. Congrats, girls. They uh, finished second place in their district tournament. So, man, a lot of good things going on with them Billy golf teams. So, congrats to all you ladies and gentlemen. The 1-0, two runners on, two outs, bottom five. Billy's got to get one more out here before the Bulldogs plate all the Bulldogs. Nate, pan to your right just a little. Yeah, before all those Bulldogs you see on the field right there. Those three score before we can get another out. We're going to play in at least another inning. So I'd prefer that that not happen. Uh-oh. That was really, really <laughs> close. I think she was safe. If you're asking, you're not. But if you were, I think she was safe. But it was really close. Way too close for a 16-4 to ball game. You don't want to end it on that if you're the Bulldogs. Pitch on the way. Upstairs, ball four. 
Gonna load the bases with Bulldogs. Riley in to encourage her teammate in the circle, Miss Brenda Wolf. Did a pretty good job tonight pitching for the Bidders. Oh, courtesy runner at first base, we're being told here. Bulldogs everywhere. Now batting for the Bulldogs. Number one, Riley Smith. And one of their best hitters at the plate. Riley Smith, she smacks one to left, but Miss Brooklyn Groby tracks it down for the third out. And that's the ball game, folks. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Congratulations to them Batlin Billies on another district win. That's, uh, is that the whole first round? 5-0? Oh. Pretty good stuff. That sure proud of them. That's all for me and my buddy Nate here in Bandera, Texas. If, uh, let's see if I can give you a quick Four. update. Why don't you just jump over there yourself and watch them Batlin Billies. Uh, the last I saw it was 5 to nothing. The boys were putting it to Canyon Lake Hawks. Let's hope that continues. That's all we got here for you tonight. Thanks again. Join us next Tuesday and Friday as the baseball and softball teams get back to it and compete again. Thank you, folks. Have a great and fantastic Good Friday. Terribly sad day and the very best day. Good Friday. And how about that Resurrection Sunday? Enjoy it. God bless you. Please drive home safely and keep the spirit of today's game working.